without being introduced, I'm here to present His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museven, President of the Republic of Uganda, at this auspicious but the first graduation ceremony of Islamic University in Uganda. And I will switch straight to his address. I would like to thank Professor Dr. Ismail Simba Jagenda for inviting me to officiate as guest of honor at the 31st graduation ceremony of Islamic University in Uganda. I've not been able to be with you physically due to earlier scheduled national engagements. I have, however, asked Honorable Mulimba John, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, to present me at the function and deliver my congratulatory message to the graduates, parents, guardians, and the university staff. I am happy to join you, all the graduates, in celebrating an important academic milestone which marks the end and successful completion of your studies at Islamic University in Uganda. Today's event is a culmination of several months of hard work, sacrifice, discipline, dedication on the part of the students, teachers, parents, guardians, and university administration. For the students, graduation is an important indicator that you are prepared to walk out of university gates and utilize the acquired skills and knowledge provide the solutions to challenges in society. It means that you have received a necessary set of skills to trigger and drive socioeconomic transformation of your respective communities. You are university ambassadors in society. The relevance of this university is measured by the degree to which you are able to create a positive impact in society. The university is not an island. It is an integral part of society. It owes its existence to society, which provides the material, financial, and human resources for its operations. The university enrolls students from the population. Its staff, teaching, and non-teaching staff come from the population. Therefore, the university must be aware of the legitimate goals and interests of society and design a curriculum that's best suited to serve those interests. For instance, you must be aware of the interests of the private sector, which is the biggest employer in the country. The private sector has high demand for doctors, accountants, entrepreneurs, science teachers, nurses, engineers, ICT experts, ETC. This high demand gives a student higher chances of securing a job upon graduation. However, due to lack of career guidance in schools, fewer students are choosing sciences and ICT-based courses. This creates a mismatch between university curriculum and job market in the private sector. The outcome is the unemployment problem among the young graduates who roam streets in search for non-existent jobs because they qualified in unmarketed courses. Therefore, I urge Islamic University in Uganda and other institutions of higher learning to prioritize teaching of courses that are relevant to the demands of the job market in the private sector. <laughs> the Ugandan economy is modernizing and accelerating towards industrialization. Modernity means eliminating subsistence modes of production, which satisfy only the need for food and replacing them with commercial agriculture, industries, services, and ICT. Four sectors where families and companies can select profitable enterprises to create jobs and wealth. The focus of the NRM government is on the creation of jobs and wealth for the households. We have made commendable progress in resolving the bottleneck of poor infrastructure, which rendered Uganda attractive for business and investment. The country boasts of enough electricity, good tarmac roads, peace, and stability, ETC. These are important because they help lower the cost of doing business in an economy. The prevailing favorable conditions must be translated into jobs and wealth. 
Therefore, I would like to use this opportunity to encourage the graduates to be at the forefront of mobilizing their families and communities to participate in the production in the four sectors of commercial agriculture, industries, services, and ICT. I would like to emphasize the importance of enterprise selection. You must select an enterprise that will yield high returns on investment. Finally, at this stage of your lives, you must be filled with ambition and enthusiasm, qualities which are common to young people world over. Your overriding aim must at present be move Uganda several paces forward from where you are today. In your chosen career, whether in law or education or business, your only ambition should be to do good, to be of good service to those who may be in need. Engage in the fierce battles with problems of energy, of land use and conservation, problems of famine and disease, it's your duty to keep abreast with these problems so that as a country, we are not overwhelmed by them. I once again congratulate you and the university upon this landmark and academic achievement and wish you success in the years ahead. Thank you for listening, for God and my country. Thank you very much. May I, at this juncture now, take this singular honor and privilege to launch the IU, IU Alumni Magazine 2022 with the theme of the Rebirth of IU, IU Alumni Association. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. We are very grateful, Your Excellency. We will now invite the Academic Registrar to invite the deans and we get to the active business. As the academic register is coming, we recognize the presence of Adam Kwatan for Zambia presenting the PS Ministry of Education and Sports.